Hi there, and welcome to this Apprentice Nation short set on digital skills. I'm Joe, and today we're going to talk all about digital skills. I'm going to give you a tool that will help you assess what skills you already have, which might be more than you think. We'll look at what skills you might need for the future. And finally, we'll give you some handy tips on where to go to level up those skills to be ready to take to the stage. So when I say the word digital skills, what does it make you think of? We've all been told that the future is digital and that there are jobs in five or ten years' time that simply didn't exist before, as well as jobs that have been completely taken over by robots and AI. It's already happening. Wherever you look, the world is moving faster and faster towards a more digital age. So digital skills seem very important. However, that term, I think, is a little vague. So there are loads of different digital skills from coding to creative, from administrative to security. So let's take a look at how we can divide up digital skills to help us make more sense of them. I like to use this diagram when I'm thinking of digital skills. By dividing it into three different areas, we can begin to start to recognize some of the things we do every day that involve the use of skills. So there is life. There are some digital skills that are required in just simply to go about life in the 21st century. A few examples of this are accessing and navigating the internet, creating Word documents and sending emails, using online banking to manage your money. And then we move to work and education. We're looking at PowerPoints, digital presentations, Excel workbooks, or maybe at work you've used a specific database or system, if you work in a call center, for example. And finally, industry. There are lots of different industries that require people to have digital skills that are specific to each industry. Cybersecurity, coding, design, creative, IT management, software and app development, media, finance. Finance are some of the most high-tech digital systems in the world. So it's definitely worth thinking about what specific skills you need to get into a particular industry. And we'll cover this later in the video. Now, we're going to explore what skills you already have, and we'll start with a quick quiz that you can get involved with at home. So grab your phone, uh, open up your notes, or grab a pen and paper and write down your answers. So question number one. In 2017, what percentage of adults in the UK owned a smartphone? It's actually A, 79%. However, it's estimated that 100% of 16 to 24 year olds have a smartphone. Okay, question number two. How many searches do you think Google processes each month? It's 100 billion. That's 40,000 every second. The third question. How long does the average teenager spend on their phone per day? Do you think it's higher or lower than four hours? It's actually six hours and 40 minutes. Now, the average Briton gets just six hours and 19 minutes sleep. So teens are potentially spending more time on the phones than the average person sleeps in a day. So we spoke to Miss Banks about her use of social media in this digital age. Hi, Miss Banks. How does social media enhance or restrict your progress? I think it definitely enhanced my progress because when I started doing music, I started doing open mics. So I used to go to like open mics and I would network with people and I'd perform. But um, the next step was always kind of like building my uh, reputation online, getting my music out there and kind of trying to just connect with other artists that were already established. Um, so I feel like it's great for, for music and it's great for what I do, it's great for business in general, but obviously I think it, it can restrict you a bit when you uh, start overusing it unnecessarily. Mm. But it definitely helped me enhance my career. I think it's important, like, I hate when I meet people and they're like, I do music and I'm like, where's the music? And they yeah. don't have any music. You should have music which is easily accessible for people so they can get to know you and get to know your sound. Yeah, it's such a great platform. Yeah, definitely. How has your interaction with social media changed over the years and why? It's skyrocketed. Like the amount of time I spend on social media is a lot. <laughs> and I don't actually think it's that healthy, to be honest. Like screen time every Sunday. Yeah, it's too much. I don't want to look at it. Like, I don't want to look at it. But 
it's a hard balance because I do use it for work. I use it to promote myself and it's a good way to keep the supporters updated. Like, this is what I'm doing today. I'm here, I'm working on this. And um, just to constantly promote my music in general. But um, yeah, I, I use it quite a lot. I'm trying to like be more disciplined now. <laughs> Cause like I said, it's really good for business, but I feel like once you overuse it, it can, it can become a lot. And um, I don't feel like as humans, we're actually built to deal with so much opinions from so many people when it starts going into the thousands and hundred thousands it's a lot yeah it's overwhelming it's, yeah so you gotta have a balance for sure great thank you so much thank you